Hi, I'm Emmanuel and welcome to my workbench. Today I'm starting my mini hunt summer series. I'm going to be putting a pause on weekly giveaways. However, stay tuned for an announcement video for a big end of summer giveaway. So stay tuned for that. For this mini hunt, I am hunting 10 rolls of nickels. So let's get right into it. First commemorative, this is a 2002 uh, Golden Jubilee for Queen Elizabeth. But I'm not going to be keeping this one. Just thought I would find it. 1971. Oh, 1969. Nothing special about 1969s, but I don't see them very often. This is a 2001 uh, with no composition mark. Uh, I believe the 2001 with no composition mark is not a key date. However, uh, most of them do have a composition mark. So, I mean, there's the two varieties that you want to keep. And here is the 2001 with a composition mark. This means this is a steel core nickel plated, whereas the 2001 uh, without the composition mark is a nickel, 100% nickel. 1963, this is our first young head and first find of this 10 roll hunt. Awesome. Another 2002 Golden Jubilee commemorative. They're fairly common. I took a nickel out, so let me get a nickel from my spares so that I have a full roll. First American, this one is a 1980 with a P mint mark. Oh, we have a dime. We have a dime. So we are five cents to the positive in this roll. This is a 2004, nothing special about that one. Another 2001 with no composition mark. This is a 1990 and I can see that this is not a bare, a bare belly beaver. So just a regular 1990. Another 2002 Golden Jubilee commemorative. Oh, 1966. Awesome. I keep all nickels that are 1967 and older. Another Golden Jubilee. Another 2002 Golden Jubilee. Another Golden Jubilee. And this one is a 2005 commemorative V for Victory. Again, quite common. Another Golden Jubilee. This is a semi-key. This is a 2000 with a P composition mark. That's awesome. So the composition mark uh, transitioned from 2000 to 2001. That is cool. Another golden jubilee. Another dime. This one is 2019. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Another Golden Jubilee. Two, another Golden Jubilee. Oops. Second American. This one is a 2011 Philadelphia. Yeah, very corroded. Another 
1964. Last year for the young head, this one is in pretty good condition. Awesome. A 2017 commemorative. This is the uh, Canada 150 uh, stylized beaver. Quite common. Another Golden Jubilee. As you can see, they are quite common. Another Golden Jubilee. And another semi-key 2000 with a P composition mark. That's awesome. Fast roll. Roll 10 so far. This is a pretty good 10 roll hunt. Nothing in the 50s. However, we are up a couple of nickels because of those dimes. We do have two Americans, and I see uh, an Oli over here. This is a 1960. Awesome. I always flip over to the 2003s because the 2003s will uh, also have... Um, the younger bust of the queen, and um, there's some NIFCs that have a W mint mark for the Winnipeg mint. I have never found one. I also look for the 1998s. They also have a Winnipeg mint, but those are very rare, so I always check those as well. Oh, another 1963 young head. Awesome. and that is the coin roll hunt all 10 hunt coins are all 10 rolls are hunted two americans uh these are not in any kind of shape that it will upgrade the ones in my book so uh they'll just go back to uh circulation when i go to the states we did find two semi key 2000s with a uh, peak composition mark and i did find a 64 so we have to look at the 1964 to see if it has the extra water mark and the extra water mark you what you're looking for is for a die crack through the kg over here and this one does not have that die crack so i have yet to find one with those with that die crack all in all uh we have two dimes which puts us uh into the black for for this 10 roll so i am happy for that and uh, that is the end i hope you enjoyed this short hunt Tune in next week where I'm going to go through 10 rolls of dimes.